Hi everybody, my name is Emily and I am an associate professor and the Urban and Public Affairs Librarian here at Portland State University. I'm sharing a video with you today because I'm unable to join in your orientation. But I do want to take a moment to talk about the library and things that we can do for you. Before I begin, I'll talk a little bit about myself. I've been here about seven years, just got tenure, um, and prior to that I was at OHSU for three years. Um, I have a research and publishing ag agenda, which I'm not going to go into today, but I would be happy to talk to you about it at some other time. Um, so the library, it's here for you. It's here for you as a scholar. It's here for you as a teacher. It's here for you as a student. It's also here for you as just a community member in Portland. Um, we have all sorts of materials, things that you would expect, um, books, journals, in print. We also have a lot of stuff that's online, a lot of uh, helpful materials. Now what we have in print and online, they don't mirror each other. So things we have in print we may not have in line and online, and things we have online we may not have in print. So it's just important to understand that kind of varied information landscape as you go forward um, from here on out. It may have been a while since you've used a library if you're coming back to school. Um, so just know that things are a little bit different, but I'm here to help you. Um, I want to talk a little bit about some of the materials that you might not know about that we have here at the library. In addition to your regular, you know, John Stuart Mill classic in political science or um, your Encyclopedia Britannica, <laughs> we also have scholarly encyclopedias that are more topically focused and other reference works. So one, an, an example that I have um, that I think is really interesting is this um, encyclopedia of, let's see, uh, presidential campaigns, slogans, and platforms. Now this hasn't been updated since the last presidential election. I'll be excited to see if we do get an update to this, what it says. Um, we also have the scholarly books, like here's this one on de direct democracy, like we have here in Oregon. I saw a chapter, at least one chapter about Oregon in this book. Um, but we also, oh, there was this other reference item I wanted to show you too. Um, listings of uh, treaties in force from the United States. So this is in our reference collection as well. Um, so that stuff kind of comes in handy with your research as a doctoral student. But we also have government documents. Um, we are a 100% depository library for Oregon state documents. So that means anything created by a bureau or agency in Oregon or the Oregon legislature we should have here at the library. I found one um, example for you. Uh, and these are both in print and online in terms of um, how we get them. This is an environmental impact statement about a bridge at Spencer Creek on Highway 101. Um, and then there were other things about like wolves in Oregon um, or anything like that. We also have federal government documents. Now we don't have 100% of everything created by the federal government, that would be impossible. But um, we get a percentage in certain, certain areas and it's complemented with other libraries all around the country. Um, an example might be uh, things, documents, or publications from the EPA. Now this is particularly fascinating because it brings up the point that certain um, disputable or indisputable areas of facts um, or reports have been taken down from the EPA website recently. So the fact that we have documents or reports created by the government that you can't find um, on an agency website, we might actually have here on the library. So just something to think about. And one of the fun ones here is um, an office supply catalog from 2001. Well, I know it seems kind of silly, but it was created by the federal government. So we do have to know how to order pens and paper if you work in federal office. Um, so I just want you to know that you can also request materials from libraries all over. You can use interlibrary loan, but we also have a system called Summit if you haven't been here in school in Oregon before. That's a consortium of 39 academic libraries in Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. So what that means is you can request materials free of charge from any of those institutions. Anything that you find that you need, always ask for it from the library. There should be no reason for you to be paying for anything that you need in your research teaching and scholarship. Finally, um, I have some research, research supports already ready for you. Of course, we have reference services at the reference desk and we also have a 24-7 chat function too. Um, and then you could also make consultation times with me in my office. 
but I've developed some research guides for you and so have the other librarians that can kind of get you a start in your research. There's also tutorials on, on our tools and things like that that you can find from our website. Your handout should have more information. Finally, there's a workshop being offered on Zotero and Mendeley. Zotero and Mendeley are citation management tools that I think would be really useful for you to learn about and start using in your first year as a doctoral student. It helps you organize the things that you're reading in class and things that you're researching, so you might want to attend one of those workshops and the times will be on your handout. Finally, there um, are three things that I want you to leave this orientation video knowing. First, it's okay to not know. It's okay to have questions. Um, you may be returning to school. You may feel like you can't ask your professors a certain question because they might be grading you. Um, so I'm hopefully a safer person for you. You're welcome to ask me any questions. I may have to refer you back, but um, please don't feel like anything's too small to ask a librarian for help. Um, and ask for help earlier. Finally, um, you should know how to get a hold of me. That information is also on your handout. I am really looking forward to meeting all of you. Hopefully, I'll see you in my office at least once during your time here, if not many times. Welcome to PSU, and have a great day.